All right, I just wanted to um start this video. I mean, uh, with the word speechless, with the word speechless, I mean, are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I mean, that officiating was horrendous. Did you guys watch that game? Did you guys watch that game? That officiating was horrendous. I, I am speechless right now. I mean, the Spartans should not be even be celebrating right now. If I was Tom Izzo and the Spartans, I'd be like, okay, we won because of the officiating. We really didn't win. I mean, we're not that good of a team. That's what I'd be saying. If I was on that Michigan State team, I'd be saying that to my teammates. We didn't win this game. We're not that good of a team. We're not that good. We won because officiating handed it to us. There's a lot of games. There's a lot of games that, I mean, Ohio State's got it handed because of officiating. I mean, I was like, we the refs kind of handed it to us. We didn't really win this game. That's what they should be saying right now because there is no way in heck they won this basketball game. The officiating won it for them. That's all I got to say there. I mean, the uh, Buckeyes could not score. I mean, last 44, 444 in the game, they didn't score. You know why? I mean... They could they were inconsistent, but another thing, the refs weren't calling anything. I mean, foul after foul for Michigan State. Ohio State literally was in the bonus plus, like for the first part of the second half, and Michigan State didn't have the bonus. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, they're in the bonus plus and have more. We have more fouls. I don't understand. And it's sus. It came at the end of the game, and we were up by nine at the time, and now they're coming back because and now the officiating wants to um go off. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I was. That's just horrendous officiating. Oh, I mean, I don't even know what to say about it anymore. I mean, Dwayne Washington layup in the end is easily a foul. I don't know if you're watching that game. The announcers on ESPN, Robbie Hummel, those guys. I mean, they weren't. We weren't the only ones. They they also were criticizing the officiating. I mean. This is probably one of the worst officiating games, college basketball game officiating games I've seen in the last few years. It's bad, maybe not the worst ever, yeah, but it's real. It's bad. I mean, I don't understand this anymore right now. You know, I was I talked to Kentucky fans, West Virginia fans, Alabama fans, Northwestern fans, Michigan fans, Michigan, our rival, TTUN in Michigan. They all said ref screwed us. I mean. This is a game, it needs to be addressed. The Big Ten needs to uh, be noticed. Not sure if Ohio State's going to get a one seed at this point. I mean, Illinois, Alabama, Oklahoma have all lost. If Illinois has a small strength of the schedule. Same with Florida State. I don't know what's going to happen. Ohio State wins out. They'll probably still get the one seed if they win these next two games and win a few games in the tournament. We'll see. But I don't know. I mean, good performance from... Washington for most of the part game except for the last part where he was fouled like three times and no calls. That's all I gotta say there. I mean, we, uh, we had to leave Aaron Henry and Joshua Langford open for wide open twos, which kind of sealed the game. You know why? Because if we uh, if we defend, it's an easy foul. It's an automatic foul apparently. So, per source, apparently if you touch a Michigan State player, it's a foul, and apparently if you yank an Ohio State player, it's not a foul. I mean. It's just, it's just complete. It do be facts, though. You know that meme? It says it do be facts, though. That's what the refs were saying about Michigan State. They were confessing their love for the Michigan State Spartans tonight. I mean, there's no, there's no doubt about it. I mean, also, I don't know, but I'm probably going. I'm, not, I'm just not. We, we got to beat Iowa and Illinois at this point. Not sure if it's gonna happen. I think we'll beat them unless the offici officials want to get all, you know, they they want to go stupid. You know how they say, they went stupid. I mean, I don't even know what to say anymore, guys. I mean, it's just unbelievable. So, I mean, unbelievable. I don't know what to say anymore about this, but, yeah. I mean, the officiating has to get better in the Big Ten. It's been a problem all year. I mean, oh my gosh. I'm just stunned, though. I mean, Tom Izzo better be telling his team that his team sucks because his team didn't have a great performance tonight. I mean, the officiating had a great performance. The officiating was the MVP for the Michigan State Spartans. The Michigan State Spartans could win the title this year. You know why? Because of the officiating. I think the refs want to give Michigan State the title. 
Michigan State, just we have breaking news, though. We do have some breaking news. I have a source. The Michigan State Spartans are there. They, March Madness will not be happening. You know why? Because Michigan State will be handed the title already due to officiating. Because the officials have a ton of love for Michigan State. The, their weddings tomorrow, everything, that's for Michigan State. But, you know, I don't know. But Ohio State loses because of the officiating. The refs are clowns. There's no idea, no question about it. I mean, you you can't you can't officiate this bad of a game. And uh, uh, there's literally three games left in the season. There's already tournaments going on. I mean, to for uh, NCAA tournament spots, and you're really gonna screw officiating games like this? I mean, it can't be, it can't be this bad. You can't rig the home team every time. I mean, and it's not even the home team. Sometimes it's sometimes a road team. But this game was just horrendously officiated. The um, Michigan State Spartans. I think Tom Izzo in the uh, I heard. I think I'm. I just heard a rumor that Tom Izzo and the officials in that game are out to dinner right now. They're having a beer. Apparently, I mean, it's. I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure that rumor is true. I wouldn't be surprised. But I mean, yeah. So, the officiating in the Big Ten needs to get better. Ohio State would have won this game if the officiating wasn't stupid i mean they probably would have won by double digits let's be honest but you know it's honestly sad i mean chris holtman our coach even got ejected you never see him get fired up at the officials and he was so bad he got ejected honestly insane for a guy that doesn't usually blow up in officials faces ever never he never gets mad at officiating he got ejected <laughs> that's just how bad it was tonight i mean they're showing it on TV. They're going to be showing highlights. They're going to be showing highlights of the officiating defeating a projected number one seed. So, you know, Illinois beat Nebraska tonight. That doesn't matter. I mean, Nebraska, come on. But, you know, we beat Nebraska by 36. You know why? Because there wasn't bad offici was not bad officiating in that game. But this game, there was bad officiating. It needs to be taken care of. If the Big Ten wants to, um, you know, be successful, officiating has to be better. I mean... You can't give Joshua Lankford, Rocket Watts, Tom Izzo, and the Michigan State Spartans a win. You can't gift them. Like, here is your birthday present or, or late Christmas present. A win against the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Illinois Fighting Illini. Here it is from the officials. We're the officials. We're going to give you a win. Yeah. Well. Yeah, we're going to give you a win. Yeah, because I'm like a 60-year-old official that loves the Michigan State Spartans. Yeah. I mean, and it's kind of sus, too, that they need a, need a two wins to get in the tournament, and they got both of them. That's kind of sus, too. I mean, I'm not sure if this officiating crew has something on, has something going, has something on with the Spartans, but I think it's blatantly obvious they do. I'm just going to call the officials right now for their bias for Michigan State. I mean, they're Michigan State fans, everybody, so I think that's kind of obvious. I think Illinois fans would pretty much agree. So, yeah, I pre and Indiana fans, I appreciate everyone being here, but sports expert here joining this video, I mean – Calling out the officials. I mean, terrible game. Michigan State Spartans fans. Here we go, Spartans. Here we go. We're officials. Yep.